I am at your service, Captain. your chance. But by the way, you might want to tell your friend Mateo about the word unity, since I won't be around to casually drop the word like I usually do. And congratulations on saving all your friends, even if they never realize how close they were to being attacked by the great hunter. What did you need? One day, I'm gonna leave New Atlantis. Over here, there's something. I'm fortunate that if you were free soon, could we talk? Hello. This is all exciting, but there's really a lot of pressure on us, isn't there? We have to get this right. There's certainly precedent, isn't there? We've been operating for a while now on the fringes of what we, I mean humans, know and understand. Why rule anything out? I just think we should be open-minded, keep everything on the table. I did say it was a metaphor, didn't I? Never meant it to be taken completely literally, but you never know. Maybe they appeared in a form we're familiar with. It's the argument I have with Walter every other week. Science and reason have their place, but so does faith. We have all of them at our disposal, and I don't for one second believe they're mutually exclusive. Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. 
I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constellation. second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? Unity. Huh. That's an important concept in Keeper Aquilus' speeches. You think it's connected? You're right. Nothing to lose but time. I'll meet you there. If you are facing... Something... Yes, exactly. It's like... like... When someone insults you, you want to just... beat the shit out of them, sometimes. But you don't. <laughs> well, not quite what I was thinking, but that's actually a great example, Marcus. The man in the story was cruel. Do you know why he was cruel? You must feel what he feels. Understand his pain. Accept it. And deliver it not back to him. But you say it like it's easy. Like anyone can... Just love a terrible person who has been terrible to them. Yeah, why even bother? I mean, isn't the cycle of humanity peace and war back and forth like forever? Seems kind of pointless to try so hard for something that won't last. Nothing ever really changes. Well, it's not easy, no, but necessary. Because you see, everything has changed. God has given us the intelligence, the ingenuity to reach into the stars, to travel his path, to truly find him. But we can't do it alone. The only way is through... Unity. Ah, yes, Andreas. Yes, unity. Well, I'm sure you all have other things to do. Thank you for taking the time to stop and talk with me. He's giving me a lot to think about. I had this great Keeper Aquilus, and can we have I a moment? Ah, oh, Matteo. It's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper... I didn't come to catch up. Oh. Well, what's on both your minds? Keeper, we were hoping to talk to you about... Unity. <laughs> you want to subject your friend here to one of our talks, Matteo? The future of humanity is always a long discussion. No, that's not exactly what I meant. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well, does it mean anything else? Something secret? Perhaps you should talk about this inside.
Well, now that we have a little privacy, why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you two here? I see. Yes, you are quite correct. Wait, what? I've never heard of this story before. And how come you know about it when I don't? Forgive us, Mateo. We have a bit more history than you might realize. If you're already familiar with the story, then I assume you know where to go. And with whom you need to meet. Or considering you are walking Constellation's path, perhaps you feel the need to hear the story again. Retrace your steps? Very well. Good luck on your journey. I am... deeply confused. Why don't you stay behind, Mateo? Your friend has a long trip ahead of him, and... I owe you a few explanations myself. Keep your universe safe from the Starborn? No, it didn't. 
We each get to decide what's right and wrong for us. That's the freedom the Unity offers. Exactly. That's what we all want, isn't it? Who needs rules when we have infinity? If you insist on walking this path, then walk it fully. Go to the moon. Follow its secrets to the next artifact. Maybe remembering what happens to Earth will give you focus. Very well. You'll also need to return to Constellation and find the artifacts in the fringes of space. They'll be expecting you to tell them about the Unity. And it might be best to give them the version where you're still human, and not a Starborn that's been lying to them this whole time. Hold 